on. We are back to Pokemon Scarlet. Um, I tried to, to play a little bit off camera to try and level up a little bit so we could play a little bit more. I played for about two hours and I just... I am not leveling up at all. So I don't know... I, I don't know about the leveling in this game. I guess they want you to do this. I, I guess they want you to like... Do the auto battling from what I can tell. That that's how they want you to come to like these massive groups up here and take them out like this and get your experience that way. So that's kind of how I've been leveling now, is just a massive amount of of trying to auto battle my way up because nothing else is working. Like, I googled it, I asked on forums, I said, hey, is, is anyone else experiencing this? And everyone told me that they were way over-leveling the game. So either... Either my game is glitched, or... I'm just not having the same experience as everyone else. Because I'm defeating trainers and getting, like, 50 experience, so... And these battles are taking, like, forever. Now, granted... Granted, this Pokemon is not the, uh... The best I have right now, but... Like, I just... I can't imagine any of my other Pokemon games that I've played ever having this much trouble. Things taking so long. I know part of it is I need to turn the animations off. Yeah, usually I play with animations off and I need to do that because this is just like forever and ever and ever to watch these animations. And to be quite frank, they're not worth they're not worth watching. They they very clearly did not put the time or effort into these um, animations, so Swaddle's here. Welcome in Swaddle. Uh, you will see that I have a few Pokemon on my team that I didn't before. Like I said, I was trying to level a little bit off camera. I was trying to do... I did a couple, like, the raids to see if I could get candies to level my Pokemon up faster. And I tried a couple of, like, the, the mystery trades. And so I got a few interesting Pokemon out of the mystery trade. Uh, so that was cool. I got a few cool Pokemon from that. I got, like, five Sprigatitos. I don't know if that means... Are people just, like, breeding them quickly? Or trying to get rid of them because they're disappointed? I don't know what that means, but... I saw none of the other starters, but I got a whole... Whole bunch of Sprigatitos, so... Uh, apparently that is the Pokemon to trade. Uh, you know, let's... Okay, before I forget, let's go turn off the animations. I, I'm pretty sure that's part of the reason why everything's taking... Taking forever. Is because I still have animations on, so let's see if we can do that. The breeding happens so fast, I think people are breeding stars to be nice. That is nice of them to do that. Um, is there... Is there not an option to turn off the animations? Like... There has to be, right? No, that options is the only thing. You can't turn off the animations? No wonder everything feels so absolutely agonizingly slow. You have to watch these animations on every fight. Now, I know stupidly, very stupidly of Nintendo, um, sometimes they hide the options behind, like, you have to talk to certain NPCs, and so you can't get those until you talk to the NPCs, so I'm hoping it's something like that. Otherwise, I mean, that's instantly F-tier, terrible Pokemon game if I have to watch the, the animations every single time, because these animations are just awful. And painful to have to watch over and over and over and over again, you know? So... That, uh... That's bad start.
but uh, we're gonna. I, I got a map. I posted it in the Discord for y'all who are in the Discord. Someone made a map that basically shows you here's the linear path that they want you to take. Here's where you know, like all the levels of everything and how you're supposed to kind of crisscross across the map. So we're gonna try and see if I can do a couple things with that in in mind, I guess, and see if that's uh, helpful at all. Um, I was going to take on the Stone Titan Pokemon, but apparently I boxed my... Um, water Pokemon, but I guess I can use this one, right? Grass should be decent against... Hi, Emmy. The zigzagging across the map is so annoying. Yeah. You'd think that they would do it, like, all in one giant circle or something like that, but, um... No, I guess they felt going kind of zigzag back and forth up the map was the... The most effective use of... Of things. Oh, look! It's the giant crab guys! People were all... All about these giant crabs. People love the cloths. Ah, they're the Geo dudes of this Pokemon. They're just gonna continually harden, aren't they? Anger Shell. <clears throat> Everyone ready for a feast day tomorrow? I am ready to eat within my diet's parameters. Ooh, that, uh... That Anger Shell really, uh... Really does it, doesn't it? That really increased his damage. Oh, that's the wrong move. I didn't mean to use that one. Okay, well, good enough, I guess. Man. They were not joking around with giving this guy some stats, were they? Making the mac and cheese tonight. I am I am ready for the mac and cheese. Definitely ready for mac and cheese. I forgot to hold down and B. That, that's why I didn't catch it. You gotta hold the down and B, right? Now, see, that was worth some experience. I got four or five hundred experience for that dude. Um, do you get more experience for catching Pokemon? Is that is it just because I've never caught this one before? All right, now now we need to do we need to do some science. Let's go back. Let's heal up. So if I go back and fight that guy again, and catch him, and then we need to beat him, if I'm getting three or four hundred experience like I'm supposed to, then it looks like maybe you're just supposed to catch Pokemon, and that's their whole, whole thing, maybe? You're cooking everything, and your father's coming over tomorrow? There is a lot of people on TikTok who have said that they have given up cooking Thanksgiving and they just pay a restaurant to to do all the cooking now. And I feel like that's where I would be at if, if I didn't have Emmy. If I didn't have my wonderful, beautiful, smart, and brilliant wife who does all these wonderful things for me and I had to do it myself, I'm pretty sure that's what I would do is I'd say, eh, that's too much work. I'm just going to pay a restaurant to give me decent food. All right, science time. Cloth. How much do I get for destroying you? Know? 
How is the rock crab faster than me? I guess it's, you know, scientifically doesn't make sense. Why is the rock crab faster than the sentient pepper? But, uh, you know, I guess logic doesn't enter the conversation. Ordering from restaurants an option, but you like the tradition and leftovers. I get that. Leftovers are the best part. Turkey sandwiches. <laughs> now is the time for science. Alright, see, now that's 300 experience. That's what I've been supposed to be getting from these fights, so... Does the newbie area just give you, like, no experience? Was it just the one area I was in? Because I was legitimately getting, like, 50 experience for a fight, and now I'm getting, like, 300, 400. That, that's what I wanted to see. That's what it should be. Alright, more science time. So, as we've seen, I can fight one of those cloths that, uh, despite being super effective against it, it smashes me good. Now, someone said the auto-battling doesn't really care about any of that and just says, if you're super effective, you're going to win. If you're not effective, you're going to lose. So, let's go pick a fight with one and see if I can do it without getting hurt and see how much experience I get. All right, let's find another crab. Crabs for science. Okay. Now, see, I took much less damage there and got about a fourth of the experience, but I saved a lot of time on that. So, maybe the area I was in was just 100% bugged. Maybe, maybe it truly was. All right, I am much happier with that, but I am still super upset that I can't skip the um, the animations. All right, so fast leveling. No, I didn't mean to attack you. We're doing science right now. We're not. We're not fighting you. We're doing science. Husband has to help, but I'm sure he won't help enough. I I am in that in that realm as well, so I am sorry. Alright. Now we have to go back over here and heal again. Messed up. Redeemed cosplay? What do you want me to wear? What cosplay do you want to see? Ah, look at that majestic windmill. Keep in mind, keep in mind, the Pokemon Company is the largest media company in the world and makes the most money. Fantastic. <laughs> Oh, that's forever to get over there. You want instant gravy packets instead of homemade gravy? I, I've probably said this like three times, but I'm so disgusted by it. Heinz, like Heinz ketchup, is making gravy that comes in like a ketchup bottle. You can just like the gravy right onto your turkey from the ketchup bottle. And it is the most vile thing I can think of. Right? Alright, so since Christmas is coming up and we're going to catch a Flamingo as a Pokemon, we have... The Christmas Flamingo. Yeah, like, usually store brand stuff doesn't bother me. And, like, I'll, I'll homemade is always better than store brand. Like, I'm not one of those people who say, oh, the store is just as good. It's not. 
But if I had to eat store gravy, like, I wouldn't complain too much about it, because, you know, I, I, it's okay. But coming out of a ketchup bottle, no. There's just, there's no way. Okay, so why did I win the first fight without taking damage, and then that fight he gets absolutely wrecked? I really feel like the auto battle is like they're literally rolling a dice and so if like if you're super effective against them then you have like an 80% chance of winning or 70% chance of winning if they're equal level and neither of them super effective against the other ones then like a 50% chance I feel like it's just a dice roll and that it doesn't actually like do any battling or take anything really into account. It's just flip a coin and you win or flip a coin and you lose. Let's try that same Pokemon and see if we get the same results. Alright, he was right here. Where'd you go, Cloth? You're messing up my science, Cloth. Where did you go? I love this hat. It looks like a pink turkey on your head. <laughs> Alright, now all the cloths are gone, so our science has been interrupted by poor RNG. So let's go back over here. Were they over here? Yeah, there's a giant one there. Okay. So he won that one, no problem. So yeah, it's gotta be like a dice roll or something here, right? This just has to be... Because one destroyed me and I just took three out in a row. Oh, is that a Growlithe? Ooh, there's Growlithe's out here. Yeah, so, so science is teaching us something here. So it's just a coin flip. Thought there was a shiny Shinx for a second. I am seeing shinies on everyone's game. Everyone's showing off their shinies. No, get him. Fight him, thank you. Alright, so that that is a good way to level. So now if we change you up here, go beat up the, the grass deer. Very good. Go take on the shanks. Go beat up that shanks. Now see, the experience drastically dropped from the cloths, because the cloths were giving me still about 80 to 100, and now I'm getting like 16. Still, it's working. Ooh, the lag. Alright, so there's a bunch of Growlithes out here. That Growlithe just phased through me. Alright, Ghastly, go. Go get us some more experience. Beat up the Growlithe. Hmm. Okay. We're learning stuff. Not very much, but we are learning. This Ghastly is level 20, and these guys are level 15 or so. No, Cloths just give way more experience, so certain Pokémon give way more experience in the overworld than, than other ones. 30, 16, but the Cloths are worth 
like a hundred. Interesting. Okay, so... Different Pokemon can have different values in the overworld. I wonder if it's because, like, these guys spawn in, like, large groups. So there's more of them, so you get, like, a hundred experience for taking out the group, whereas the cloths don't come in, like, those packs? I wonder if it has something to do with that. Oh, a Dunsparce! People are saying that this Pokemon is incredibly overpowered. So let's catch it. Go Flamingo, go. Apparently Dunsparce got an evolution and now he's D Dunsparce. Yeah, he can he can evolve into Dun Dunsparce. <laughs> oh. Ground moves don't affect Ghastly because of Levitate. That's good to know if I have to go against a ground titan. Law and Order Pokemon Dun Dun. <laughs> Alright, catch the Dun Sparse. Very nice. And I guess you get false swipe if you register if you register thirty Pokemon in the Pokedex, you get false swipe for free from the school. Let's go heal up. Take on the Titan, maybe? Upside down controller. See if we can navigate to where we're going. Do my precious Pokemon need a rest? Yes, we've been doing science all morning, so... They are tired from science. I still think leveling takes too long, but at least I've found a little bit better experience. Let's go check out that Titan and see how bad he is. Ghastly, go beat up some guys. There we go. Give me that sweet, sweet 100 experience from the cloths. Alright, let's go check out the Titan. I'm guessing that's what this one is, the giant thing attached to the wall. Ready to go. There he is. All right.
I'm guessing those sort of moves don't work on this Pokemon, but we're going to try. Apparently they do. I didn't know. Okay. The Cliff Titan can be put to sleep. Now let's uh, wake him up. Okay, that's not terrible damage. We might actually be able to win this one. Especially because it keeps using the same move. Slowly, slowly making progress. Much easier than the bird. This is where he gets tough, though, with that anger shell. He's going to be super powerful, so got to be careful of that. Missed a few minutes, your dad called. We were just, we were doing science on the crabs. So you didn't miss very much. Apparently a ghost just cheeses this fight all together. Yeah, the bird titan I definitely did out of order. That that is that is clear. That is very clear to me. <laughs> All right, so what happens now that I defeated him? Do we get eat him now? Yes, please post the order in Discord. Titan is eating something. Okay, now we have like a double battle. With the Edgelord. Let's serve up a helping of defeat on the half shell. Okay, so this won't be too worse of a fight here. Thank you. Alright, so does it get the the half shell ability when it goes down again? Anger shell? Yes it does. Alright, we need a different Pokemon. Heroes in a half shell. I was gonna say I miss Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but I'm pretty sure they still make the TV show, and I'm pretty sure they've been doing a lot of good stuff with it. Why'd you throw the rock at me, dude? The shelter is the one that's been wrecking you. Why? Why me? It seems unnecessary. Okay. 
Okay, please tell me that gives me some experience. Not great, but not bad, I guess. Yep, that was all you. That was all you, Arvin. Before it comes back, we just beat it, and it sunk into the ground and shrunk, like... Is it going to come back? That would be really anticlimactic if it's just like, yep, here it is again. So they mentioned that it's dark in here, and that clearly glows, so is this like... Is this how you get HMs? Herba Mystica, HM, so is this just going to give us, like, Flash? Or Bioluminescence? Good for gut health, good with digestion. Badge. Well, you're not a gym leader. What does a badge do? Can I give my sandwich to Koridon? Yes, apparently I can. Okay, so the sandwich powered it up and now it can run. Okay. <laughs> I guess. Dexter's here. Welcome in, Dexter. We've been talking about Thanksgiving plans and Pokemon science. So if you've got Pokemon science or Thanksgiving plans, feel free to share it. Ooh, Arvin's got a mystery. Let me guess, he has the other legendary? Excuse me. Okay. All right, now we can do the grass gym, and I have a fire Pokemon who might just have something to say about said grass gym. Alright, so we can dash and move a little bit faster. I do like that. That is a nice speed boost. If only he had some sort of rotating wheels that would make him go even faster, but you know. We make do with what we got, I guess. What the heck was that thing? Is that a duck? A parrot? Squawkabilly? Hmm. It's got a little bit of a little bit of strength behind it. 
Why am I faster than it, though? Alright, Ghastly, sorry, I'm gonna let you get knocked out. Nothing personal. But, uh, yeah. Alright. Oh! Oh, do you see that in the background? We have to go catch that. Alright, hurry up and go away, bird. Thank you. There's those mice. Oh. Pommy's evolving. That's pretty adorable. Pomo. Electric fighting. Okay, I like that. It, it says it punches them and uses its electricity. All I can think of is uh, Pam from Archer when she gets her bum shockers. Look at that thing. There it is. The Tanda Mouse. Smack it with a rock. After 1,000 steps, it evolves again. Super Fang. Alright, catch the Tandem Mouse. We have to have it. No! I love it. Uh, can we do something that won't? Won't one-shot them? There we go. Alright, Pokeball. Come on, Tandem Mouse, I really want you on my team. Yes! Yes, I'm excited for the Tandem Mouse. Tandem Mouse, the couple Pokemon. Exhibiting great teamwork, they use their incisors to cut pieces out of any material that might be useful for a nest. Adorable. All right, and the question is, who gets boxed for Tandem Mouse? What are you? Another bird? Must be an idiot, because I can't get Pomo to evolve. Uh, so, what I've heard for Pomo to evolve is you have to walk 1,000 continuous steps with Pomo. So you can't put him back in the ball, you can't lose it. It has to be 1,000 continuous steps... And you have to get a level up. You need to do both, is what I've heard, to make it work. I need the three mouse family one. I know it's, what, like a 25% chance to get three and... 75% chance to get four. Kind of strangely with the Dundun Sparse too, right? Dundun Sparse can have two segments or three segments. Depending on how you do it, how it evolves. 
All right, Grass Trainer. Let's take on the Grass Gym. I'm going to have to roll... Oh, there's a Jungle Gym in the background. I'm going to have to do some sort of Jungle Gym stuff. Um, let's put... Chardette in first as well. So he can wipe the floor with the Grass Trainer. All right, what are we doing here? Yes, what a weird coincidence. Yes, my Pokemon have got stronger. I got a Tantamouse. All right, what do I have to do to fight the Grass Gym Leader? Need to pass the test. Sunflora Hide and Seek. Ten Sunfloras. Never thought I'd miss the days where we just, you know, beat four trainers to prove that you were strong enough to take on the gym leader. Not playing hide-and-seek and pushing an olive around, but... You know. Alright, looking for Sunflower Pokemon. Is that one? It is not. How much of a pain in the butt... Is... Is it going to be to find the Sunflora? Is that one? Or is that just a guy with a random Pokemon? Hey, give me your Sunflora. Wait till you see the frame rate. All ten of them. There's got to be some hidden behind the houses, right? Like, that's that's a trope. Whoa. Okay. Why am I not finding any Sunflora? I can clearly jump over. Look how high he's jumping. You're telling me I can't jump over that fence? Come on now. Come on now. Alright, big question. Okay, he doesn't drown in the sh shallow water, so I guess that's a... That's a plus. Okay, there's one, maybe. Is that one? Does that count? Alright, that's one. That's two. That's three. Guessing there's one in this hedge maze. That apparently we can just cheat the hedge maze by climbing over it. Ooh, poison tail. I like that. Guard spec. Why are these things so hard to find? I 
one here. Are they hiding in the the pots? No. Maybe there's just not one here. I could have. I. I would have bet money on them hiding one of the sun flora in here. So. I am genuinely surprised that there is not one in here. But okay. Let's see, we gotta find seven more of these things. There was on yours? I wonder if they're random locations or if I just am blind. Both are valid options. Check the cafe. Did I talk to the lady? No. Do you have to talk to someone? No one makes it that far in? There's like three paths. When you're facing the gym, go left to the lady by the statues. Oh, there's two up here. All right, we're halfway there. Halfway there. Feels like there should be one up here. Well, there's something glowing. Fling. Okay. Not quite what I was looking for, but it's something. I never started the mission? Oh, that's a pain. Well, that's not absolutely annoying. Alright, well this is a little bit easier, I think, so I guess that's okay, but, uh... Yeah, this is much easier.
Oof. That frame rate, you weren't kidding, Texture. That is... Ooh. That is some frame rate. That kid casually wearing a gas mask? <laughs> I need a firestone so I can evolve my... my spicy pepper Pokemon. Alright, there's one at least here. Two. See, at least I wasn't going crazy, right? Like, they had to put them in here. Like, the trope demands that they be put in here. So I'm glad that I, I wasn't wrong about that. Alright, we gotta find two more. Saw people blaming the Switch for how it proves... Yeah, there's a lot of people that were trying to say, Oh, well, you know, the Switch isn't powerful enough for it, like... Have you seen Breath of the Wild? Skyrim runs on the Switch. Like, it has nothing to do with the Switch's power and everything to do with them just rushing this out. Oh, wrong move. And supposedly Nintendo just heard about the in-game problems. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite certain that uh, Nintendo had no knowledge of this at all. It has nothing to do with them launching this, you know, with the holiday season and that there are some people who would buy a Switch just to play the new Pokemon game. And it just so happens that, you know... All the OLED models that were possible to find are now in stock and on Black Friday specials. Yeah, nothing to do with any of that. It, it falls solely on they just forgot to tell Nintendo that they were uh, struggling. And, like, could you imagine... If you bought a brand new Switch for this, if you bought the Scarlet and Violet Switch just for this, and this is what you... This is what you got. This was your first experience with it. Like, I played Game Boy games that were less laggy. <laughs> Alright, well that was awful. Let me go smoke the gym leader now, please. I love that switch, but I'd be beyond, yeah, 100% beyond angry if, if I got a brand new switch, their quote pro model, the OLED, and this was the first game that I was playing on it. There's, there's no way. Yeah, bring on the gym leader. That's not a good sign. That's not a good sign. I didn't save. Why is it taking so long? Oh, okay. It made it. Interesting. It looks like he's got a whip. 
And there were a lot of Pokemon trainers back in the day that had whips. Yes, let us make some art. I'm going to call this art piece a smoldering pile of ash. Oh, who would have seen that coming? Using the fire Pokemon at the grass gym. Master strategies. And like, I know, I know canonically people lose to gym leaders. But, like, how? Like, in their universe, in the Pokemon universe, you know that that gym leader is only going to use a certain Pokemon. Like, if you're fighting the grass gym, all you have to do is walk outside and catch one fire Pokemon, and you're going to win, right? Like, in what world... Do people struggle to beat the gym leaders in, in, like, in their world? I don't get it. Ah, the pseudo-wudo. The, uh... The bane of my existence. But I'm guessing if... If this holds true, he's gonna... Terra-type it, and it's going to turn into a... Grass type, right? So. Fire should still be good. Yeah. We're still good. We're going to use our move uh, Weed Killer on it. And destroy that thing. Sudowoodo has ruined one too many Nuzlocks for me to uh, give it any mercy. Just like that. I thought he would use a grass move. The answer is no. He did not use a grass move. Let's see, do I have anything that will... I think Ghastly should be okay here. Why is my Ghastly so fast? Like, the whole point of using Payback is supposed to be that he goes second. Why is he... Why is he always going first? Okay, is he actually increasing the speed of the battle or just the speed of his Pokemon? And Ghastly's still faster somehow. I don't get it. Here comes my Pokemon traded in from the random stuff. Uh, I don't know. Rock Smash? Taste your own medicine? Drop his defense a little bit?
I'm gonna have to Google once we're done here if I can turn off animations. There's gotta be someone I can talk to that'll uh, allow me to turn that off. I love that they kept the sword shield music. I do like the sword shield music. Question is, do the trainers use potions in this? Am I going to get him down and then he's going to just hyper potion all the way back up? Because I'm going to be so annoyed if he does that. So annoyed. Interesting to note, though, it doesn't look like, you know, Dynamaxing... Dynamaxing, you know, wore off after, what, three turns? It does not appear that this... That this goes away after three turns. It looks like you stay in that form for the entirety of... Of the battle. Which is interesting. You have to weaken it enough? All right, Tandem Mouse. Go teach him a lesson. Come on, how did that not... How did that not take it down? Oh, this is going to be an annoying fight, isn't it? Now it's super fast. It survived 1 HP, and I don't have anything... Uh, Kaska Kid should be able to bite it, and I think bite should work here. Like, it's one hit, right? I just need to make sure I hit it. There we go. <laughs> and I hate Pseudo Wudo. <laughs> I despise Pseudo Wudo so much. All right, give me my badge. I'm not sure how I feel about it. you have to have a, a selfie with every single Pokemon trainer now. I'm not sure how I like that, but. Tis the world we live in, I suppose. Gotta get them selfies. I have no idea who this is. Elite Four? This is the Elite Four? Uh, fun, I guess. Come to art class sometime? No, I don't think I will. I, I don't think I will be going to uh, those school classes at all if I can avoid it. Those uh, did not seem to be fruitful for my time. Alright, so everyone should be healed up after the fight? No. Okay, let's go heal up then. A language class is available to take. Will I learn to screech like a Pokemon? What is... 
What is language class in Pokemon for? Alright, let's heal up. Let's get some new moves on the Pokemon, too, if I can. Buy a few Pokeballs. Alright, Terra Orb is charged up. Let's look at uh, our bag. What kind of moves do we got? Uh, can't learn Fire Fang yet. Can learn Takedown. Trailblaze increases speed stat. Okay. Lower speed stat. No poison tail. Can learn swift, fling, endure. Sunny day for fire attacks. Grassy terrain. Spikes. Okay, I don't really have a lot of great moves here. Oh, let's, uh... Let's save while we're here. I haven't turned the game off in a while, so I'm afraid it's going to die at any moment. Oh, and it just started to rain. Maybe we'll see some interesting Pokemon out here. Let's go look at what it's like when it's raining out here. Besides lagging. What spawns in the rain? Anything interesting? More of the same. They re say restarting the game helps with a lot of issues. I have heard that. I should probably do that more. Let's also test this. Um... Oh, I didn't even see that thing there. Oh, wow, that's horrible. All right, run away. So if I go somewhere up here... No. Okay. I have a rare candy, so if I take Pomo, put Pomo out, and we go on an adventure together. I wonder how we count a thousand steps, so if I rare candy it, it should level up and I should get the next level, right? We're going to test this. The question is, how do I count a thousand steps? With science, of course. Um, okay. Let's see how many steps we can take in one minute. All right, we'll look at the Caps of Kid Dext in just a little bit. Okay, so it looks like I can do well over 100 steps in a minute. So 
All we have to do is run in this circle for nine more minutes. And we should be at our thousand steps, give or take. And we'll see if this works. So, yeah, that's, that's what we're doing. We're running. Can't get too far ahead. We don't want them to despawn. We're just going to casually run. Got to keep hydrated if we're going to casually run. And then we'll look at that Pokedex entry. We're slowly making progress. I feel like that was like one minute. Felt like an eternity, but probably about one minute. do it buddy you can do it we're in this together getting our steps in 10,000 steps a day right now this way this is bringing back um, Shoot, what was that? The the Gram Pacer test? The Gram Pacer fitness test was designed with you in mind. When you hear the beep, make one lap. Keep running until you hear the beep. Keep running, little buddy. You gotta get all 1,000 steps in. No cheating. Come on. Feel the burn. Still got seven more minutes of this. Now that works actually a little bit better, I think. All right, hopefully no one gets motion sick because I think this is working better. All right, little buddy. Six more minutes. You can do it. You're gonna be the highest evolved at the lowest level. Come on. Also, as a quick note, this is riveting gameplay. You know you've created a masterpiece of a game when people do this to get parts of it unlocked, like Look at that engagement. Yes. Quite clearly. Fun fact, this actually used to be something that people would do uh, back in the day of Gran Turismo 2. There was a car you could unlock if you finished a 100 lap endurance race. But people found out there was a glitch that if you just rubber band your controller together and left a brick on the gas button, you could complete it and unlock the car. And so everyone just basically did that. They just rubber banded their controller together and beat the game that way because no one actually wanted to sit there and do a 100 lap race that you could risk, you know, messing up or losing or other things that would cause it to not be valid. Again, Excellent gameplay when you create a game where people don't even want to do it. Alright, we've got five and a half more minutes of this. There's a glitch. This guy was able to make it to the final gem or Elite Four without getting a single badge. I saw that and they, uh, they wouldn't let him fight the Elite Four. They said that his uh, application was denied.
Which I, I guess it's good that they programmed for that, that they figured someone would try and break the game. So let's see if... You know, it's always good to... I don't want to say idiot-proof your game, but idiot-proof your game. You know, in case someone figures out a glitch on how to break out the story and do things, you know, that it still works, that just doesn't crash or anything, you know, so... That's good programming, which is a surprise to say when you're considering all this. Alright, we got three and a half more minutes. Come on, Pomo. Move those chubby little legs. How long am I doing it for? We are running in a circle for 10 minutes because with my highly accurate science, I discovered that I could run over 100 steps in a minute. So 10 minutes, 100 steps should be well over a thousand. So it should meet that requirement. And then we're going to shove candy into his mouth until he levels up. So... Remember, this is an exact science. We are we're timing with watches, we're running in circles. We are we're big brain science folk doing this. I can't wait to upload this to YouTube. I'm guessing, well, if people watched my YouTube videos, I'm guessing they stopped watching about 10 minutes ago. <laughs> Alright, that should be well over a thousand steps. Alright, buddy. Now you're going to eat candy. It worked! Way to go, Internet! That's pretty adorable. Worth it. That was worth the 10 minutes. Pomo evolved into Pomot. The hands on Pokemon. Well, now you know how to do it thanks to. To St. Waffles, wants to learn Revival Blessing? What is Revival Blessing? What in the Tent Revival Christianity is this? The user bestows a loving blessing, reviving a party Pokemon that has fainted, restoring it to half HP. Way to go. Yeah, for sure learn that. He, I, this is, okay, 100% headcanon, so Revival Blessing, it gives its blessing and revives a Pokemon. All I can see is this little Pomot walking up to him and just being like, Bah! Jesus says walk! Demons be gone! That is, that is all I can, all I can see with that, so that is my headcanon of what happens when my party is getting revived now. <laughs> when I evolve that, I think the level will only be the non-offensive move I keep. <laughs> Poker Satan be gone! <laughs> I mean, there is... There is a Pokemon God and a Pokemon Devil, right? So, smacking the head of dark types for sanctity. In the name of Arceus, I say be gone! <laughs> oh, look, a murder of Murkrows. Ooh, 
There's a terror type down there. Let's go check out the terror type. Oh, wait, wait. We promised we were going to look at a uh, Pokedex entry, right? Uh, Pokedex. How do I get to my Pokedex? Uh, I, I'm going to look it up, but I, I don't know how to get to my Pokedex. Uh, Poke Portal? No, that's like the online stuff, right? Oh, the minus? There we go. Okay. Catholic kid, Catholic kid, Catholic kid. Where are you? Let's go A to Z. That should make it easier. Here we go. The spicy pepper Pokemon. Details. The more sunlight this Pokemon bathes in, the more spicy chemicals are produced by its body, and thus the spicier its moves become. Interesting. Interesting. Is it different? Are you in Violet? Does it have a different entry in there? You're playing Violet, right? Because they have different, uh, different entries for that, I believe. What's the uh, the violet entry? And what do we have down here? What? Oh, we got a special Terra type Dunsparce. All right. What do you got? It says that the dishes around Paldea are spicy due to the fact that the front teeth are grated into the food, making it spicy. Ew. A poison type? Interesting. I dig it. Oh, I forgot to buy great balls. Dig again. Flamingo's gonna head bob to the music. All right, let's catch it. Da dun spars. Tandem Mouse wants to learn Bullet Seed? Maybe, I don't know. Should you learn Bullet Seed? It's a grass type move. Low power. Multiple hits. Let's see. I can press X and ask my Pokemon? Tantamouse wants to forget Super Fang and learn Bullet Seed. Sure, why not? That's what my Pokemon wants. Will it say that it doesn't want to learn a move, or does it always want to learn a move? Because I feel like that would be an amazing addition to Nuzlocke challenges. So if you can ask your Pokemon what it wants to do, in fact, that it'll say no sometimes. Okay, okay. New rule for all Nuzlockers now. If you're doing a Nuzlocke in Scarlet and Violet, you have to ask your Pokemon what it wants to do with that move. 
and you have to do what the Pokemon wants because as a true Pokemon trainer, you have to consider your Pokemon's feelings first, right? That is going to make for some brutal, brutal moments in Nuzlocke's. If you can only do what your Pokemon wants. Go get it. Yes, beat the crab. Consent lock. <laughs> You heard it here, folks. St. Waffle's channel at 5.09 p.m. Wednesday before Thanksgiving. We have invented the consent lock. Talking to my Pokemon? That's pretty cool. Did that bird dance at me? That's pretty cool. All right, let's buy some great balls. All right, I think we accomplished enough today. We took down a Titan Pokemon. We took down a gym. I don't know where we're going next because I need to look at the map. And it's going to be dinner time here soon. So I feel like this is a good place to stop. So uh, <laughs> thank you everyone for joining me today. I'm glad we made some progress. Let's save and actually exit out so that the game can reset. Look at the article you sent. I will have to do that. Save the game. Yes. All right. Yes, I, I will. I will check that out so that we know where to go when we pick up. Maybe tomorrow morning. I don't. We're not doing Thanksgiving stuff until way late at night, so I might. Might get some streaming done in the morning. We'll see. Uh, thank you, everyone, so much for joining us today. Thank you for everyone who watches on YouTube and other places and you know, all the, the different things you'll see this on. Uh, I really appreciate y'all hanging out. Appreciate all the subscriptions and all that. It does make a difference to me. Have a think happy Thanksgiving, and we will see you tomorrow or Friday.